Hi guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. Uh, my name is Hus and this channel is dedicated to East Asian cinema, movies from Japan, Korea, Taiwan, uh, mainland China, Hong Kong. So I do movie reviews, Blu-ray updates, and today I have got some pickups from FOP. Uh, this is part of their uh, sale of third window film titles. Uh, I picked all of these up for six pound each. I think that's like seven something dollars. Uh, don't know about the exchange rate at the moment. Um, by the way, it is so hot in the UK at the moment. Um, it's abs like everyone is just sweating. And in London, where I am, it's just ridiculous how hot it is. But yeah, so bear with me. I am really hot as I do this. Um, so yeah, I picked these up for six pound each. Um, FOP is just one of the coolest Blu-ray stores in in the UK. I think uh, their staff are just so knowledgeable, and you see, you know, it's just people that are in there that enjoy their job. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the first. Uh, I've, this is really a bit of a homage to uh, Shinya Sakamoto. I picked up a few of his uh, releases. Uh, first one being pr probably one of his most iconic. I couldn't believe I didn't have this, but it is the Tetsuo Iron Man and Body Hammer. Uh, the first movie and the second movie, uh, both directed by uh, Shinya uh, Sukumoto. He's just, uh, he's a pioneer really of uh, this crazy, uh, like intense filmmaking uh his his style is is a mixture of like stop frame animation uh like shaky cam and he uh really like he he brings the audience into the film in this really uh, uh m like intense way uh almost nauseating but enjoyable uh, you're just so engrossed in his films now uh, Tetsuo uh, stars uh, Taguchi Tomowara uh, also stars uh, Kei uh, Fujiwara and it tells the story of this uh, salary man you know an everyday uh, the, the Japanese salary man but he's like an everyday guy who goes to the office and and so forth uh, he um, him and this, uh, he he sort of uh, picks up this uh, this how can I say virus, which uh, turns him into this ma uh, machine human. Uh, you also have another character who's a uh, uh, who is sort of like a, a fetishist, a metal fetishist. He likes sticking metal into his body. Um, and we have these two characters in this film. Uh, it's, it's so bizarre, but yet absolutely thrilling. Um, the first one is is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the second one uh, uh, actually stars uh, Sukumoto in there, um, as well as Taguchi Tomowara, who uh, plays the same sort of character in the second one. And and. Uh, uh, Sukumoto also plays that sort of character, uh, sort of fetishist character again in in the second movie, which is uh, the uh, uh, Body Hammer. Uh, these are quite standard releases, uh, but yeah, absolutely really nice to see it in 4K. I actually first saw this film in 1994. I was 12 years old. Uh, it was on like a late night. Um, Channel 4 type film. Um, now at the time I was getting more into Japanese cinema because of uh, manga video releases. They picked up loads of live action movies uh, like uh, uh, Takeshi Kitano movies. So uh, it was through like loving Takeshi Kitano films that I got into uh, Tetsuo, uh, the films. Um, at the first I didn't really enjoy them but after time I did start to really have like get a bit of a soft spot for these movies so yeah that is the Tetsuo trilogy I really would recommend this for anyone who is into Japanese cinema because th this this film was 
really what brought Japanese cinema back into the mainstream in the uh, uh, in the early 90s, late 80s. Uh, it was it just done well in the f uh, film festival circuit, and at the time, Japanese cinema wasn't where it was today. Uh, next up, we have another Sukamoto film, which is Tokyo Fist. Uh, this also stars Sukamoto and also stars his brother Koji Sukamoto. Uh, and it's the story of two uh, school friends that sort of their paths cross later on in life. Uh, again, Sukamoto plays this, uh, uh, Shinya Sukamoto plays this sort of average guy, uh, not really a tough guy. And uh, his wife, his girlfriend, I should say, sort of uh, gets into a relationship and things really sort of go in a downward spiral. Uh, but his girlfriend gets into a relationship with someone else and their relation and his life starts to really take a bit of a different uh, direction. It's, it, it goes on this into boxing and it's just again with that real shaky cam and mental like violence it, it, it it's a I think it's a really good film I really do enjoy this um, I think it it is like quite captivating uh, the special features as interviews with the uh, director uh, clip from an original live concert uh, I think that's to do with the soundtrack I haven't seen the special features but yeah absolutely Wonderful release, really nice picture quality. Um, yeah, just a standard release, really. But yeah, for six quid, it's amazing. Really good title to pick up. Next up, it is Bullet Ballet. Uh, another uh, film that he stars in as well. Um, not my favourite of his movies. Uh, probably my least favourite. I, I picked this up because I haven't seen it yet. Um, I didn't really enjoy it as much. I thought it was, he's telling story a story that I've already seen him tell really. Uh, in this one, he becomes obsessed, obsessed with uh, a gun after um, hearing of uh, his, uh, his girlfriend uh, shooting herself and he just becomes obsessed with picking up a gun and like a bit of a, a fantasist, uh, he loves uh, weapons and at the same time guns are quite difficult to get hold of in Japan. Uh, there isn't a big gun culture over there. Um, so yeah, uh, shot in black and white, the, the visuals is really nice in this film. I do like the aesthetic. Um, Sukumoto, he's very similar to like a David Cronenberg but with a very different aesthetic. Uh, whilst his stories are about the evolution, uh, how human involvement uh, with like cybernetic or, and different like organic uh, the changes in a human body. Uh, this, uh, his movies do have that, but his, uh, he, he does have his own very uh, beautiful visual style beautiful is probably not the word I would use it get actually it's more thrilling I should say so yeah that's bullet ballet uh, six quid uh, I think it's, it's good for anyone who's interested in the in his films to to see uh, again not my favorite um, but yeah uh, that's bullet ballet uh, lastly, is not a Sukamoto film. I, um, I I I just saw this, and you know, I I've, I have seen this. Uh, I saw this years ago, uh, and yeah, thought I'd pick up the Blu-ray. It is Dangan Runner. Uh, this also stars Taguchi Tomorora, who has been doing who's been in a bit of a few Sukamoto films. It also stars uh, Diamond Yukai and Shin Shinichi Satsuma. Satsumi, sorry. Um, this is actually a really enjoyable film. I, I, I do really like this film. Um, I've not seen a lot of Sabu films, but 
um, this is brilliant. I mean, it's his first film. Uh, it tells a story of a guy who robs, tries to rob a bank, but uh, needs to buy a mask, so he robs a grocery store. The grocery store owner starts chasing him. The, the grocery store owner owes money to the Yakuza, so a member of the Yakuza is chasing him. So we get this wild goose chase, and it's just so funny. It's it's r really enjoyable. Um, a nice black comedy. I, I, I think this is a re one of the best Japanese comedies uh, I've ever seen. Um, and Sabu, yeah. The films I have seen of his, I really do like. Six quid is so cheap. Um, it comes with the slip cover um, with the alternative artwork there. And yeah, just really nice. Uh, does it come with any booklet or anything? Yeah, just the usual um, third window booklet. But I, I tell you, I do like uh, Diamond Yukai. I think he's a, a good a, a good actor, good musician, and uh, Tom Aurora is 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 good in in everything I've seen him in. So yeah, that is my third window films update. Uh, just a small one, but yeah, like next to nothing being spent here, and it's just you're just getting good quality films. Um, so if you are near a FOP store, um, if you're in London, pop down to. Uh, Common Garden, pick up as many titles as you can. Um, I didn't do this for free stuff from uh, Third Window Films. I wouldn't mind if I, they did send me some. But yeah, uh, that is my update. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you've seen any of them, uh, comment below which one's your favourite. Uh, if you picked up anything in the sale, let me know which what you picked up. I'm gonna. Do get some more titles from there. Uh, they're just so cheap, and you know, <sighs> such a great selection of films. I mean, I've, I've picked up all their Katano titles. Um, I wish they released more, like all, all his movies. Uh, but you have to get some on import, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, hit that subscribe button, click like, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.